hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in please subscribe to my channel today i'm going to be reacting to a video about the rich but the poor in nigeria so let's watch and see what the video is all about i've not seen the video so let's watch together and see what the video is all about rich but the poor in nigeria so let's dive right in. This whole target is set up with 40% of the 20 million people in Lagos living in slums like Mark, while billionaires in just right and cut actually less than 5 million miles away, which finds a popular banana island with only 22 10 million dollars. So this right here is Mark Oko, and to my left hand side is the popular banana island. Two different types of people live here extremely poor, extremely rich. Okay. For the records, let me just make this straight. Nigeria is a country where there are extremely rich people. Some people are extremely rich. When I mean extremely rich, rich, rich. They own private jets. They fly in and out of the country, travel on vacations. They are rich. I mean extremely rich. And at the same time, there are some people that are extremely poor. When I mean extremely poor, I also mean extremely poor they barely can eat three square meal a day even one square meal is even hard for them to eat so they are just living for survival that's nigeria for you and you find out that maybe their neighborhood is not far from the uh, rich neighborhood so let's continue watching and see this video um what he just said that uh we are not rich we don't have money but we need to be rich by children this is another mentality i've noticed with most nigerian poor people they tend to give birth to a lot of children that at the end they cannot take care of they give birth to many children thinking that oh since i don't have money my children are my wealth and at the end they won't be able to take care of those children and it will be a problem the children will live in poverty they will grow in poverty and maybe they will end up in poverty that's like a poor man's mentality that is mostly common in nigeria This particular uh, area is Makoko, like they literally live in water. They live in water. Their houses are built on water. So like anything can happen whenever, maybe if there is a flood, they are just at a risk of getting drowned. So they live on water. Their lives and everything is in water. It's one of the poorest places in Nigeria. Yes, 
can fill in this area and they want to build luxurious real estate, obviously for the elite. I wonder what's going to happen to this guy. There's a man that came from the government. I don't know if it's real estate business and all that. He tried to talk to the elders and the community leader. The plan was like, he said they wanted something to the Yeah. Then the people said, no. But look good to more, there are more than 200,000 people, 75 percent for the 20 years. It is hard to tell the current population size here because no official census has been carried out and the birth rate is at an all-time high, which is introducing a growing yet starving population. The population here is young people. You can see between the age of like 7 all the way to 20. Very frequently. Why is that? You've seen less old people. Almost every woman that I have seen here is pregnant. But people like, people like giving birth here at a high rate. The, the reason is uh, we are not rich by money. But we need to be rich by children. So, if you don't have money, you need to have children. So, if you are not rich by money, you are rich by children. Yeah. So, which means if you have like 15 children, you are rich. Yeah, rich. So how do you convert that to that like, I wonder, how can you convert your children to money? Oh, so these children go to work and it's what they can bring in money. Oh. You guys have like hospital where people get sick here. Where do they go? We don't have hospital, but we have maternity. Just get somebody just get bed. And he just said they don't have hospitals, they don't they only have maternities. And you find out that the maternities they don't have like uh good medical personnel. So the people attending to the pregnant women are not well trained. That's why there is high uh, death rate at birth for the children and the environment is not healthy for children. So children are affected most of the times by typhoid, malaria, it's water area. So mosquitoes will definitely be around and typhoid and all sorts of, all sorts of disease. That's why the death rate, the death rate is high in that particular uh, village. Okay, you can see the maternity, like inside the maternity, this lady just gave birth to a child now and the maternity is not clean, it's not like it doesn't have facilities, so anything can happen, maybe there's uh, an error or anything, the mother or the baby will just die because there's no any facility to help the mother or the child, the place is unkept and dirty. So uh, those are the beds in the maternity. So you can see how some people are living uh, their life in Nigeria. And the water is not clean. And you see children swimming inside the water. So now he's saying that they put they poop straight right into the water. The water that they travel in, they swim in, they poop, they pee, everything is in the water. You understand? And probably it's the water that maybe they will sip and drink or something else, or they will bathe with. So you can explain why a lot of people will die in that particular area. 
or maybe their body is immune to all those diseases. So this man is just saying that they are using the same water to cook food with. The same water you poop inside and pee inside is the same water they are using to cook. And you also bath inside. You bath inside your water, you use the same water to cook. And the truth about that area, a lot of people are visiting that area to show their support. I know a lot of celebrities, a lot of people, they are not even Nigerians, they are helping those people there. And the top, top rich people in Nigerians does not even care about that side, you understand? I'm just rich, I don't care about the poor people. And this one came all the way from America to plant seaweed so that the water can be clean. So let's watch and see. Wow, oh, it's a W man. W man. This man is really a great man. He left the luxury of his home country to come to Nigeria. He's not only staying in Nigeria, rich man area or normal area. He's went to the poorest area in Nigeria to stay. For me, that man is so humble. Like he's so humble. He's a great man. He's a W man. Thank you. 
And the place is a very big place. The fee is free. I was born and brought up there. Do you see yourself at some point living in the community somewhere else? I mean, I one day I will still live there. So people here, normally they are living there because of their fishing activities. Yeah. Because that's the strength of the community. Yeah. So do you guys have like your own police, your own security? We don't have police around here. We have some guys that are work together. Like my dad, when they have a desperate, they need to to put it to part and make it peace. It's very peaceful. Like you see, you see a white guy living here. Yeah. And I have so many of them coming. They use internet. Are they aware of what is happening in Nigeria? Are they aware that you cannot do anything? Alright, yeah, you can get Wi-Fi, you can get 4G from here. Yeah, 4G. Yeah. So how how constant is the electricity? Yeah, it's not steady. It's not steady. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jones. How long have you been running this business? Three years now. Three years now. Is it very popular? What do you think the government can do to really like improve this people right here? Mark? They would have to bring in utilities. Yeah, they, 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 they've got to help with sewage and electricity and, and water. Uh, and that, that's, that's basic needs for any society. So I, I think they need to recognize Makoko as a city and then uh, begin to provide services. I'm 60 years old, and when I was a kid, they said, eat every bit of food on your plate because there's people hungry in Africa. My whole life, that stuck with me. Nobody ever talked about, well, what are you going to do about it? Finally, I feel like I can help. The government should just make Makoko a tourist center. Yes, tourist attraction for people to come and visit. Then you have to talk about what happened. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace.